Communication is the lifeline of human society. From the earliest cave paintings to the written word, humans have always sought to bridge the distance between one another. But it wasn't until the 19th century that a breakthrough would revolutionize the way we connect. The invention of the telephone. Before the telephone, the telegraph was the primary means of long-distance communication. Invented by Samuel Morse in the 1830s, it allowed messages to be sent using a series of electrical signals, dots and dashes known as Morse code. While groundbreaking, the telegraph had its limitations. Messages were short, and communication required trained operators at both ends to decipher and relay the codes. It was clear that a more direct and personal form of communication was needed, one that could carry the human voice across great distances. This dream became a reality in the mid-1870s, thanks to the brilliant minds of several inventors, most notably Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847 into a family dedicated to the study of speech and hearing. His mother was deaf and his father was a renowned speech teacher, which deeply influenced Bell's interest in sound and communication. In 1871, Bell moved to Boston, where he began teaching deaf students and experimenting with ways to transmit speech electronically. Bell's breakthrough came on March 10, 1876. Using a simple receiver made of a diaphragm and an electromagnet, Bell was able to transmit his now famous words. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. His assistant, Thomas Watson, heard the words clearly in another room. This was the moment the telephone was born. The first telephone was a simple yet ingenious device. It worked by converting sound waves such as the human voice into electrical signals. When Bell spoke into the telephone, his voice caused the diaphragm to vibrate. These vibrations were then converted into electrical signals by the electromagnet. The signals traveled through a wire to the receiver, where they were converted back into sound by another diaphragm. This rudimentary technology allowed the telephone to carry sound across short distances. However, it was a massive leap forward in communication, laying the groundwork for the global telecommunications network we have today. The success of Bell's invention quickly spurred further development. Early telephones were large, boxy devices with a crank to generate the electricity needed to make a call. Calls had to be manually connected by an operator, who would physically plug in the wires to establish a connection between the two parties. By the late 19th century, the first automatic switchboards were introduced, eliminating the need for operators to manually connect calls. Rotary dial phones became the standard, allowing users to dial numbers directly. This was a significant step towards the modern telephone system. The invention of the telephone transformed society in ways that could not have been imagined in the 1870s. It shrank the world, making it possible for people to communicate across vast distances instantly. Businesses flourished, families stayed connected, and information flowed more freely than ever before. Today, the legacy of the telephone is carried on in the devices we carry in our pockets. Smartphones that not only allow us to talk to each other, but also connect us to the world in countless ways. Yet, it all began with a simple idea, the desire to hear a loved one's voice from afar. Alexander Graham Bell once said, the day will come when the man at the telephone will be able to see the distant person to whom he is speaking. That day has come and gone, but the telephone, in all its forms, remains one of humanity's greatest achievements. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the telephone. Stay tuned for more stories of innovation and discovery.